Hi, in this video I'll show you how to configure access for the Play Console API and a simple example in Node.js. In short, you need to create a service account key, link it to the Play Console, assign apps, assign appropriate permissions, and then you're ready to use it. I use the API for automated publishing to internal test tracks and there will be another video to show you how to do that, uh, to publish your apps uh, through GitHub Actions. Okay, so to create a service account key, go to Google Console Cloud, APIs and Services, and make sure Google Play Developer API is enabled. Okay, then go to credentials and create a new service account. I'll name it like this. Create and continue. You don't need to select the role. You don't need to select anything, just click on done. And then you have this. This email is important, copy it. Okay, so now go to Google Play Console, Users and Permissions, and you will invite the new user. That is the email that you just copied. And then you grant the permission. And for the API to be able to just uh, publish to internal rest tracks, I need the uh, view up information that is by default edit and delete draft apps and also release apps to testing tracks and click on apply and then click on invite user and there you have it the just created service account uh, now has permissions to see the read only app information and also and to publish to test tracks the apps uh, that i just select now go back to the Google Cloud Console, click on the service account and uh, to authorize your actions, you need to create a new key. It will be of type JSON. And just save the file. And now you can use it to authorize your actions to Google Play Console API. To showcase the use of the private key file that I just created, I created the Node.js script and moved my file to this directory. The script is simple. You need the Google APIs dependency. You need to sign again your JVT, create a JVT client, authorize it, and then you can have access to the Android publisher. For test, let's modify this script a bit. Okay, let's see now if it works. Okay, perfect. Now I have access to the Android publisher methods. For one of my next videos, I'll show you how to configure GitHub continuous integration to automatically publish uh, the Android uh, AAB to internal test rack.